It's the same piece of paper. It's the same thing. Since, you know, since, and, and that's a good Kids, they grow up and they want to be musicians and they think, oh, well, I don't have to get an education to do that. Yep. You don't, but you should. Like, I have two college degrees, you know, Man, we, three we if you count my uh, my pharmaceutical degree that I gave myself from the ghetto. <laughs> yeah, I went to that school too. Street pharmacist. <laughs> Street pharmacist. Gotcha. I mean, chemist. Okay. I'm Alchemy. nice though. I'm like, you guys want some crack, please? <laughs> well, we're going to do this. We're going to play. Listen, check this out. I want to talk about this before you do it. Okay. I wrote this uh, on, I, I, when I first moved back from uh, Nashville. Uh, I had to get a real job, folks. If you're going to play the game, you got to have a job. I'm going to yeah. tell you that's this. And if you want to be a musician, find you a job. And if that don't work, find two jobs. Man. It doesn't matter how much you want to do it. Because <laughs> yeah. it ain't cheap, ladies and gentlemen. It takes a long time. Oh, yeah. uh, but anyway, I, I was late for my new job. I almost got fired. And he's like, I, I guess I ain't going to need you if this is how it's going to be. And I said, dude, I set my own hours for three years. I was the boss. Now, I'm sorry I was late, but he sent me to Liberal, Kansas, five hours away to pick up a big old work over rig and drive it back as punishment. And, and I was riding with, with this guy named Dondi, you know, the guy that had to go with me. And uh, I said, man, I guess welcome welcome to the little patch. And he said, uh, it's, it's fun, ain't it? And I said, yeah, that's a song right there. And uh, but anyway, uh, Rock and Roll Charlie is a guy that run a rig when I was a kid. And I thought he was the only one in the world that did it because every time I went on location, he was in. So I said, uh, Dondi, if I wrote that oil field song, I'd have to talk about old Rock and Roll Charlie. Do you remember him? And Dondi started crying. He said, yeah, it's my dad. So the song's done. His dad's got a tribute, and John takes it over. I bring John words. He brings me this. And this is why we're probably going to do this till I, whatever happens, you know what I mean? Because he ain't going nowhere. I don't yeah. care what he thinks. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, here it is. And, uh, oh. Little Oklahoma music. Welcome to the old patch. Here we go. Welcome to the old patch. Up at 5 a.m., just like we always do. Filling up that four door. Experience, there's one thing that you learn. You're only as good as your dumbest one. Rock and roll, Charlie's on the handle. The pipes up in the stands. Let's keep those blocks of moving boys. Come on, let's make a hand. The boss man's on location, sure wants to get her done. Welcome to the oil patch, boys, ain't this fun? This life has a rough neck, you miss a lot along the way. Birthdays and anniversaries are some things we can make. In school, it's somewhere I probably should have stayed. But 80 hour week when it's moving out here, you damn sure get paid. Rock and roll, Charlie's on the handle. The pipes up in the stands. Let's keep those blocks of moving boys. Come on, let's make a hand. The boss man's on location. Sure wants to get her done. Welcome to the oil patch. Boys, ain't this fun? Let's start making plans And pray like hell that pusher don't show up with his light plants Rock and roll, Charlie's on the handle The pipes up in the stands Let's keep those blocks of moving boys Come on, let's make a hand The boss man's on location Sure wants to get her done And I said welcome to the oil patch Boys, ain't this fun? And I say welcome to the oil patch, boys. We sure are having a hell of a lot of fun. Well, 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 well. That's a well-produced uh, 
You oh, said you said something about this fine. being not not a finished product. No, what? We're still doing the mastering part. John's still oh, working on that, making changes. We just did great. this two weeks ago. We went to Tennessee a few weeks ago. This is mm-hmm. how we roll. Uh, we went back <laughs> to Tennessee, we and on we Tuesday, Charlie Sheen clip. we use Monday. For, <laughs> we use Monday to drive. Tuesday was. in the studio all day. Uh, Tuesday all day. Wednesday all day. Thursday went out to a show that night. Thursday night uh, in down uh, uh, Midtown Nashville. Friday all day in the studio working. Then we did Springfield, Tennessee, pack show, and then Saturday I did all my vocal work on the Saturday. We did a show that night at the by the Grand Ole Opry, and then on Sunday somehow Grand Ole Opry. Sunday went and finished up some more vocals because that actually felt good. And it was Sunday listening to Joe Osteen tweets and reading and all that stuff. <laughs> got, got the inspiration. I'm and a then, Facebook Christian. And then I pulled in my house Monday morning and went to work. <laughs> so seven days we did three shows and made a record. Let me uh. Let me ask you this: Who are your, um, who are some of your, um, like musical influences? Merle Haggard. I have Merle Haggard in my CD player currently now, and for probably like, in, probably in Everly. Uh, Merle Haggard's my guy because he writes songs about, you know, the same things going on right now today, thirty years ago, and it's he writes timeless songs, man. Like Tupac. So yeah, Tupac exactly. is like exactly. the hip hop version of Haggard. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I mean, I don't agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should do a mix of them together. How would that sound? Won't you do that? That'd be cool. It's like, I'm standing in the ghetto that. with I my know. pistol. I ain't no telling what you got. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. So, um, my next question is, can you name three black country singers? Yeah, uh, uh, go ahead. Go Charlie ahead. Pride. Uh, Darius Rucker. Uh, Cal McCoy. McCoy. Teddy Riley. <laughs> I don't know any. You guys did great because I don't know any. <laughs> hey, I tell you what's even harder: steel guitar players, Robert Randolph and Family Band. Tell me, you know who Robert Randolph is? Hey, after I know today, who Robert Randolph is Robert Randolph, man. That's I do not know who he is. <laughs> really? I don't. You gotta check that out, dude. He plays steel guitar, pedal steel guitar, man. Now, and they just light it up. I, 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 I'll be honest with you guys. For the average urban thug in my neighborhood, I'm much more diverse in my got musical too taste. Damn but many urban <laughs> thugs. Yo. Yo. Okay. But uh, I'm always open to listen to new stuff, man. And uh, uh, most of the most of as a hip hop artist, like when you're talking to people, you can tell who really like enjoys the genre and who just you know listens to it occasionally because like I couldn't. I could name you some rappers like who are they? You know what I mean? And I'm sure you guys can name me some artists and like who are they? I only know the guys that play on the radio. Right. And I, you know, yeah. And that's that's it. There's a song about some chicken in the yard. This guy was chasing or something that was on a radio recently. I don't know. I kind of liked it. And then okay. uh, there's the red solo cup song. It's so addictive. I love that song. And uh, my favorite country <laughs> song of all time is and I keep forgetting his name. That lets you know. Hallowed, I don't know about it, but uh, the one about Johnny's daddy's taking him fishing. Tim McGraw. Tim McGraw. There you go. Yeah. Tim McGraw. You get a official urban thug pass one time. If you're ever in the ghetto in Wichita, Tim McGraw, and your car stops, call Israel, and you'll be safe. And you'll never have to hear. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never have to hear. Never. Booker T threatened to come get Hulk Hogan. You never have to hear that. Now, uh, <laughs> let's talk about the female drummers. Yes. What What made you want to be a drummer? That's not something that you know hot chicks like yourself usually want to do. If I was a hot chick, I wouldn't wake up in the morning and be like, I want to be a drummer. I probably say <laughs> I want to do hot yeah. chick stuff, like whatever hot. Chicks I want to do hot. Chick I don't know because stuff. I don't get hot chicks, so. <laughs> I was forced into it. It was purely a forced thing. It wasn't anything I was wanting to do. But, but you had you had to at some point in time uh, develop a love for it and uh, yeah. even a skill for it. Yeah. How did that come about? Who were some of your female uh, drummer influences? I I don't have many. Uh, any drummer. Little drummer boy? Yeah. Um, <laughs> little drummer boy. Yeah, that was a big one for yeah. me, the little drummer boy. Yeah. I mean, classic. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. He created classic. a whole new style and genre of drumming. Yeah. You know, philosophically speaking. He had sort of a dress, <laughs> a skirt, I guess. So yeah. Philosophically dresser, speaking. Boy, you guys don't understand the inner nuances of drumming. 
I'm going to tell you how hard it is because I can't do the foot pedal and like my right hand and left hand at once. You know what I mean? Like I just never learned to do it. I just can't do it. I got kicked out of the church choir because I couldn't sing, clap, and sway back and forth in unison. I'm like, <laughs> I don't need that. I, have, you know, when I'm in the studio, we have Pro Tools. The engineer will line me up. Where's the engineer at church? <laughs> Where's the engineer at? <laughs> yeah, I once had to take. I had to tell the DJ to show one. So I was like, hold on, you my asthma pump. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I had a prime team miss moment. Like. Like, like, my name is Ezra. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I you love it. Dog. <laughs> like, I need a glass of water. Oh, hey, hey, listen. When we go places, we go back. So October 19th, people out here in Hudson come back and see us at 14 North. And I'm going to do it again. Yeah. We might need to have Israel come up and oh, uh, man. participate in that. Hey, that would be cool. Hey, no, seriously. Uh, I, I, they, they guys are used to it. They didn't like it at first. Whenever I bring the bartender up last night to sing with Bomba.